Now the latest out of Rome, where the four-day Vatican summit on clergy abuse has ended with no concrete action taken by church leaders from around the world. Yeah, instead, the bishops got proposals from Pope Francis they'll take back for consideration in each of their countries. Channel 2 anchor Bill Baeza has been in Rome covering the summit. He joins us live with more. Bill? Yes, Jonathan and Sian, good morning from a bitterly cold Rome here just after midnight on a Monday morning. Although this summit produced no concrete universal directives or laws aimed at clergy abuse, American bishops led by Cardinal DiNardo now have the green light to make bishops accountable for abuse and or cover-up. This summit was brought to a close with a mass celebrated by the Pope and the church leaders he called to this summit on clergy abuse. Afterwards, he spoke of child abuse in a universal context, citing data that show those who perpetrate abuse are primarily parents, relatives, coaches, and teachers. He called on world leaders to focus on ways to end the abuse of minors everywhere. As to Catholic priests and bishops, he said, here I would like to reaffirm that the church will spare no effort to do all that is necessary to bring to justice whosoever has committed such crimes. The church will never seek to hush up or not take seriously any case. Afterwards, at his weekly public address in St. Peter's Square, Pope Francis told the thousands assembled, including survivors of clergy abuse, that he and his bishops meeting here acknowledge responsibility and ask God and the victims for forgiveness. We want all the activities and places of the church to always be places fully safe for minors. We want all possible measures to be taken so that such crimes are not repeated. The summit ended, we again spoke one-on-one -on -one with Houston's Cardinal DiNardo, who is leader of bishops in America. He was asked by the Vatican to delay measures to make American bishops accountable, but now feels he can move forward. Do you feel you have a green light now? I think we do. Now, I could be overly optimistic here, but if you listen to all the talks, Bill, I, I didn't hear a talk that didn't say something about uh, lay involvement. Yes. Uh, um, lay participation. Uh, accountability by having some form of a code of conduct. And, uh, I feel, or I think the bishops of the United States feel affirmed on that level, that what we were working on is what de facto happened here, and so we can move ahead as soon as I get back. <laughs> Victims and survivors marched on the Vatican, demanding this summit adopt a zero-tolerance policy on clergy abuse. The American church has already done so, but the Pope has not universally. He could conceivably in some issues do it. In fact, somebody had asked me, could he not make zero-tolerance universal? Yes. And um, if it were up to me, I'd say it's fine by me. I mean, but we've had that as a law. In the United eight, States. Yeah, for 17, 18 years. The Cardinal leaves the Vatican Monday, returning to Houston carrying with him a message of reassurance for the 1.7 million Catholics he shepherds in the Archdiocese of Galveston, Houston. Now, the, <clears throat> excuse me, the American bishops meet in Baltimore this coming June. Cardinal Donato told me that he really believes that Catholics will be reassured with the outcome of that meeting, reassured that they can once again trust their children with priests and bishops, Sian and Jonathan. So, Bill, when it comes to priests who are known to have committed sexual abuse crimes, could they see possible jail time or will they continue to live free? No, they will see a jail time. As a matter of fact, one of our viewers, Lacey Tomchek, emailed me that very same question, Sion. And what I told her uh, in returning email is that now the first thing will happen is the church will report all accusations to civil authorities. If that priest or bishop is found guilty, the church will then defrock that priest or bishop. Sian and Jonathan? All right, good information to know. Thanks a lot for that, Bill. Now, clergy abuse survivors have, of course, been very vocal during this summit. Tonight at 10, Bill finds out what those survivors think about the Pope's message. We have more coverage of the summit at the Vatican Online, including Bill's blog of the developments in Rome. Just go to clicktoyouse.com slash Catholic Church.